Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a written letter to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, dealing with solid fraternal relations between the two countries and peoples and ways of boosting them. The letter was handed over to Saudi Foreign Minister His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah during a meeting with Bahraini ambassador to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ahmad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. They discussed bilateral relations and ways of boosting them as well as regional and international issues of common interest. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received UAE Cabinet Member and Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology Dr. Sultan bin Ahmed Al Jabr present were His Majesty's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty's representative for Humanitarian and Youth Affairs and Oil and Gas Holding Company Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Royal Court Minister Sheikh. Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The UAE minister conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalid Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness and the people of Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. His Majesty conveyed his greetings to the UAE leadership and stress the strong historical relations between Bahrain and UAE and their development at all levels, mainly in the industrial, technological and oil and gas fields. The minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keenness on strengthening bilateral relations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree Number 108 of 2021, amending Article 1 of Decree 105 of 2021 on defining the competent authorities in accordance with Law Number 10 of 2006 regarding some tasks and competencies of the relevant authorities in oil and gas, and the amendment of some provisions of Decree by Law Number 42 of 1999 on the establishment of Bahrain Petroleum Company. According to the decree, the second paragraph of the Royal Decree 105 shall be replaced by the following. As an exception to the provisions of the first paragraph of this article, the oil and gas holding company shall be the competent authority responsible for appointing the boards of directors of companies that carry out business related to the oil industries and the wholly owned by the state and to select government representatives and the boards of directors and general assemblies of companies in which the state contributes a share in their capital. The oil and gas holding company shall also be the competent authority stipulated in Article 2 of Law Number 10 of 2006 regarding some tasks and competencies of the relevant authorities in oil and gas and the amendment of some provisions of Decree Law Number 42 of 1999 on the establishment of Bahrain Petroleum Company. Upon the launch of the National Afrolist Station campaign under the theme Remain Green, the consort of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal and Cons Consultative Council of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, affirmed that the unlimited support of His Majesty the King and his personal follow up of the agricultural development strategies and policies have contributed to the increase of green spaces according to environmental environmental standards and the optimal use of natural resources. Her Royal Highness affirmed the importance of endorsing afforestation efforts. She also valued the efforts of private and official institutions to support the initiatives of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development. Her Royal Highness expressed hope that the initiative, which will focus on supporting agricultural projects designated for the afforestation of roads and the kingdom's four governorates, will aim to, towards sustainability to achieve the environmental efforts the kingdom is committed to in support of international efforts and national priorities to reduce a global warming and climate change. The campaign was launched today across the kingdom's governorate starting from Harraq to the southern governorate. Present was the southern governor as Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa and the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf. On this occasion, Sheikh Maram bin Isa Al Khalifa affirmed that the initiative will target 10 local 
locations in the Southern Governorate, six in the Northern Governorate, six in Bharag and five in the Central Governorate at an estimated cost of half a million Bahraini dinars. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work in youth affairs and oil and gas holding company chairman Zahana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received UAE Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology Dr. Sultan bin Ahmed Al Jaber. Zahana Sheikh Nasser stressed the strong historical relations between Bahrain and UAE and their peoples, expressing Bahrain's appreciation for the advanced level of bilateral cooperation under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and UAE President Zahana Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al wishing UAE leadership, government and people further progress and prosperity. The meeting discussed cooperation in the fields of industry and technology and ways to enhance relations to serve the interests of the two countries. The minister expressed his appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and praised the relations development witnessed by the two countries that reflects the keenness to strengthen ties in various fields. In light of His Majesty the King's vision for the future and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and the Board Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Companies, that is His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, approved the restructuring of Babco Board. He affirmed that the company is carrying on in enhancing its operational capacity to support this national establishment and that the restructuring will contribute to the company's success. He wished the new board well. The decision makes the following appointment. Abdullah Jahad Zain as the president of the board and Mark Thomas as the deputy. The membership of Yusuf Abdullah Hamoud, Yusuf Abdullah Taqi, Ashok Krishna, Saeed Hussain, Abdurrahman and Ahmed Yusuf Talib. The decision states that the period of membership extends to two years. Dr. Abdurrahman Al-Jawahiri is also appointed as the CEO of the company. As part of the ongoing development of the oil and gas sector in line with the vision of His Majesty and the aspirations of His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and the Board Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, approved the restructuring of Tatwir's board. He affirmed the importance of this field in supporting the national economy in line with the Vision 2030 and wished the company further success. The decision makes the following appointments. Faisal Muhammad Al Mahrous as the chairman of the board and the membership of Mark Thomas, Mazen Muhammad Matar, Ali Habib Qasim, Ghassan Ali Al Muhanna, and Isa Ali Janahi. The board membership extends to two years. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Authority and uh, Zainis Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman Al Mu'ayyad. The meeting was attended by the GSA President, Abdurrahman Askar, and the Director of the National Heritage Directorate at BAC, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Highness welcomed the Minister and conveyed the regards of His Majesty the King, after which he reviewed the efforts towards developing the field of sports. He discussed various related topics that deepen cooperation between various government organizations to further develop the field and contribute to Vision 2030. His Highness then listened to a briefing from the presidents of the clubs regarding their future plans that aim to develop the sports sector of the kingdom. For his part, the minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his continuous support and hailed his efforts and contributions to serving the sports sector in the kingdom. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office the president of Bahrain Paralympic Committee, Sheikh Mohammed bin Daij Al Khalifa, and the presence of the CEO of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar. His Highness welcomed the Paralympics Committee president, hailing the committee's efforts in implementing initiatives that support people with disabilities in the sports field. His Highness wished the committee members and affiliates 
further success and progress. He also reviewed with the committee president's means of further developing sports programs for people with disabilities, which will further develop their abilities and increase their readiness. His Highness affirmed support to athletes with disabilities and the Paralympic sports in the kingdom. His Highness was briefed by the Paralympic Committee's president on the preparations to organize and host the Asian Paralympic Championship for the youth from the 1st to the 10th of December of this year. His Highness wished the committee success in its endeavors, adding that, this, that such efforts will further promote the name of the kingdom. For his part, Sheikh Mohammed bin Taij praised the distinguished efforts of His Highness in supporting athletes with disabilities, affirming that his patronage will contribute to realizing more achievements at the regional and international levels. Representative Speaker Rafozia bint Abdullah Zainal received UAE Speaker of the Federal National Council, the FNC, Sagar Robash. The minister meeting discussed ways to develop joint parliamentary work and cooperation between the two legislative branches in the two countries by devising new methods and developing new measures that ensure the development of parliamentary and legislative work. The speaker affirmed that the well-established relations between Bahrain and UAE represent a unique model in the level of agreements between between the two countries and people under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Zainal stressed the keenness of the legislative branch in Bahrain to boost cooperation with legislative assemblies in the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC countries, which will contribute in upgrading legislative capabilities, develop joint system, and support the development in the region. The FNC speaker praised Bahrain's steady development progress under the leadership of. His Majesty the King and affirmed the Bahraini Emirati relations are a model of continuous cooperation. He expressed UAE's keenness to enhance legislative cooperation in various fields and support Bahrain in all. An Emirati parliamentary delegation arrived yesterday to the Kingdom of Bahrain, led by the Speaker of the UAE Federal National Council, the FNC, Sagar bin Rabash. The Speaker of the Representative Council, Fawziya Zainal, was at the forefront to receive Speaker Rabash along with members of the Council's Bahrain UAE Fraternity Committee. The visit of the Emirati delegation stems from the keenness of the legislative authority to bolster parliamentary diplomacy, particularly with Bugli Gulf and Arab countries, and to further consolidate bilateral cooperation in light of the deep-rooted historical fraternal relations. The visit is expected to include a number of discussion sessions that aim to further develop the course of parliamentary cooperation, increase the effectiveness of the agreements signed and unify visions with regard to various causes. Meanwhile, the Shura Chairman Ali al Saleh received UAE Speaker of the Federal National Council, the FNC, Sagar Rabash. The meeting discussed ways to develop joint parliamentary work and cooperation between the two legislative branches in the two countries by devising new methods and developing new measures that ensure the development of parliamentary and legislative work. The Chairman affirmed bilateral relations are deep rooted and continue to grow under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. He expressed pride in the bilateral ties and affirmed the keenness of the legislative branch in Bahrain to boost cooperation with legislative assemblies in the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC countries, which will contribute in upgrading legislative capabilities, develop joint systems and support development in the region. The FNC speaker praised Bahrain's steady development, progress under the leadership of His Majesty the King and affirmed the Bahraini Emirati relations are a model of continuous cooperation. He expressed UAE's keenness to enhance legislative cooperation in various fields and support Bahrain in all. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Al Mana, chaired the preparatory meeting of Health Under Secretaries of the GCC States, which paved the way for the seventh meeting of the Committee of the Ministers of Health in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. Dr. Walid Al Mana expressed pride and appreciation for Bahrain's hosting of the meeting, noting that this comes in light of the GCC countries overcoming various exceptional health obstacles while tackling the coronavirus COVID 19 in order to work on continuing the series 
series of achievements in all circumstances with efficiency and competence and to continue recording the successes and decisions that serve the interests of the Gulf citizen and to improve the health services provided in the GCC countries. In the same context, the Undersecretary indicated that the seventh meeting will present and discuss the most prominent decisions of the Supreme Council in the health field in addition to following up on the implementation of issues related to health affairs between the GCC states to achieve the desired goals. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,171,634 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,134,813 had taken the second, and 410,766 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 650 with 60 recoveries, 74 registered new cases and one death. 20 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 51 are contact active cases and 3 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.